somebody just weekend here in Vancouver and also my last day so we'll just keep it chill I have explored a couple of places in this entire week and obviously I have to come back again because there's so much to do here but today we're just going to keep it chill explore the downtown have some good food have some good coffee and also explore Stanley Park in Gastown I think those are two places that are just nearby also rain is predicted today let's see how that goes but I'm really excited to spent my last day here in downtown I'm sure you are as well so I'm starting my day with breakfast at a very popular place called Cafe Medina they have Mediterranean brunch and that's quite a popular place I'm not sure if I'll be able to get breakfast there because you need reservations and they do accept walk-ins as well but for that you should be here at least at 9 a.m. and it's already 11 so we are late I see your line what do we do so I went in and asked and they've put us on the wait list and the wait is for like one and a half hours Good but I really want to eat here so yeah we'll wait but till then we can grab a coffee the best thing is the coffee place that I wanted to go is just 500 meters from here so we're just walking towards gas town also this is a Vancouver based chain so obviously I have to try it as always there's a huge lineup here as well I try to get you to the popular places I hope it's worth it. Yeah, I hope so too. So one thing I noticed about Vancouver, it's full of great coffee spots. One of them is Nemesis. They really know what they're doing with their beans. It's a specialty coffee company where you can enjoy an elevated coffee experience. The baristas are famous for their pour overs. So come here for stellar coffee, amazing options for brunch and baked goods. Bang, bang on the door, do you hear me knock, knock? I hit you on the phone, but you're making TikToks. Is anybody home? What's your case? Should lock. We've got a fancy cappuccino here with an extra shot of something Indian. The cafe is completely full. There's hardly any space to even sit. So I'm assuming it's going to be nice. And also this tiramisu croissant. I'm really excited to try this as well. This looks so pretty. I don't even feel like drinking looking at this cup. It's a tiny cup, mind you, for the price, but it's quality cup. Wow, it tastes so different in a very good way. I've not tasted any coffee bean like this. This is so rich in flavor. It's quite flaky and crunchy. I still need to get in the best part, which is I'm sure inside. It is filled with all this cream, which also tastes really nice. So good. All the places we are going, they are so nice. I think food scene is pretty big in Vancouver. So guys, this is not your average coffee because it is expensive. But if you want to have a great coffee experience from a local Vancouver chain, you should definitely come to Nemesis. Loved it. So we just got a message. Our table at Cafe Medina is ready. So we're just heading there. I'm waiting for the bus. And obviously it started raining again. By the way, uh, to get around the public transit, you need a compass card. So I'm just being like a local Vancouverite, taking the bus and everything in downtown. What do you want, Karan? I'm gonna have waffles with chocolate sauce. This first, okay, this one, and, and yeah, okay, yeah. Actually. Cafe Medina is one of the most popular brunch spots downtown. It is a haven for Mediterranean inspired brunch and is extremely busy. Every time I've walked past it, there's always a queue in front of this cafe and even the reservation system online was fully booked for weeks. Wow, this looks so good. I'm so excited to try it. So I ordered two poached eggs and sausage and also their famous waffles, which I'm really excited to try as well. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is really good. This sausage is amazing. I've not had such a good sausage ever. 
This is actually heavenly. I think this place is known for its waffles and it's too good. The food here was beyond my expectations and the first few bites were a flavor explosion in my mouth. Very well seasoned. It was both pleasing to the eye and the palate. Also, don't leave without trying their waffles. They are so popular here that literally everyone was ordering at every table. So, if you're visiting Vancouver and you didn't go to Cafe Medina, you're really missing out a big part of your trip. This place is definitely worth the hype. It's so different. It's like all Mediterranean-inspired brunch. Very, very good. I would highly recommend coming here. And like every city has one, the bustling downtown shopping district. The place where the big departmental stores live, where the luxury brands are. In Vancouver, that place is Robson Street. It is packed with tons of stores and restaurants, home to over 100 shops from home, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, cafe, patios, fine dining. It's all in one location. So whether you're looking to give your credit card for a workout or winter shopping is more your speed, Robson Street will hit the spot. So we are actually at Robson Street and there are a bunch of uh, retail stores here and I'm actually feeling very very cold and I saw this brand North Face thinking of buying a jacket right now. By the way we don't have this store in Toronto. We always find that in like multi-branded stores but Saranj found the store here so we had to come. It's a massive retail store right? Yeah. This is good? Yeah. What do you think? Good. I love it's nice, the right? yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. looking nice? Yeah. This actually looks like downtown Toronto to be honest with all the high-rise buildings, offices, restaurants but the only thing that differentiates is the waterfront. That is amazing with all the mountains and ocean and the cruises. That's when you actually feel you're in Vancouver. So I left all the high-rise and all the hustle and bustle and now we are headed to the waterfront. Specifically, we are headed to Stanley Park. I think we have to head this way, right? Yeah, let's go this way. I really did enjoy being in the downtown. There was so much traffic today because it's the weekend. And this is the place I want to be. It's so peaceful here. We have a coffee. I literally went to the 49th parallel again. Very nice coffee and good donuts there too. I think we're really high on caffeine today. I might look a little low today because I have spent one week of exploring here and I'm kind of like, I'm not done with Vancouver, but I'm just tired cycling since two days along the seawall, but it was so worth it. Left or right, where do we go? This park is huge. Can you believe this is like thousand acre park which has access to beaches. There's also an aquarium here. These trees look unreal. Look at the branches. They are so old. I'm just amazed looking at the greenery here, man. Wow. Look at this. Cherry blossoms. Stanley Park is actually bigger than downtown Vancouver and also slightly bigger than Central Park in New York which is also such a popular park right so obviously this is one place that you have to come and on the outskirts there's the sea wall where you can bike and walk around you can actually see Canada's national animal here which is the beaver I actually saw a boat which said there's a beaver's lake around but since this park is so huge and massive, it's just difficult to like find all of those places. So yeah, if you're coming here, do have plenty of time with you. This park has four restaurants, an aquarium, outdoor swimming pool, water park, totem poles, two beaches, lake, rose garden, and so much more. Sadly, it's just our last day here. We can't spend the entire day in this huge park but definitely it was worth coming here. Mm. There's a bus stop right in the middle of Stanley Park which is nice to go That's back right. to Dalton. And now we are headed to Kitsilano Beach. The best thing about this place is all the beaches and everything is so close to downtown. So if you don't want the city life and all that hustle bustle, you can just be in the nature in like 10 to 15 minutes. I'm very tired so I just want to relax and lie down on the beach. I don't think so you'll be able to lay down on the beach because it's raining. You really need a sunny day to enjoy on the beach. Sad, I know. 
yeah, at least we can that's sit a and bummer. relax. But yeah, we can at least enjoy the views from that place. And we are at the Kitsilano beach. But you know what? Since it's raining, it's all foggy. So all the mountains are all covered by fog, which is not a good sign. But let's get close to the water and see. Flop show. What do we do? We just stand and relax. We can't even sit. <laughs> it's a flop show, guys. We can't even see anything. Would you want to take a dip? Well, it started raining again, so coming to the beach wasn't a really good idea. But we are just soaking up the views one last time. Foggy views to be precise. If it's a bright sunny day, I'm sure this beach is worth coming to. Like you have this unobstructed views of the mountains, the ocean. And there are a lot of restaurants and cafes on the other side of the beach as well where you can eat. Also there's one right here just on the beach which is called the boat house. You know those spots that immediately make you feel at peace with yourself when you travel? Kitsilano Beach was one of those spots for me. It had everything an ocean lover like me could possibly want and is one of Vancouver's most popular beaches. It's surrounded by park, it's linked to the sea wall, there are a lot of restaurants around and the best part, it's centrally located, not far from downtown. Now what's the plan? Let's go back to downtown. We were just about to leave and all of a sudden, it stopped raining. Woo! Which means that we're gonna stay here and enjoy this beautiful view. Since we came in spring, we couldn't take a dip in the Pacific, but we did enjoy a bit of sunshine in Vancouver. visit the historic, charming and artsy neighborhood in downtown Gastown, which has picture-perfect collection of old buildings, vintage lampposts, curated decor boutiques, art galleries, gift stores, lots of shops and bistros and the most Instagrammable steam clock. So now I'm at Gastown for its iconic steam clock which is right here. This antique style clock was built in 1977 and whistles every 15 minutes to tell the time. And it also blows out steam which was so cool to look at. There's a cute little neighborhood which has cobblestone streets and also these Victorian looking buildings. You should definitely check this place out. There are a couple of restaurants and bars here as well. It's a nice place to take some pictures. The whole street is very beautiful and I'm sure you are going to love it. That was a quick visit to Gastown. We are running now because we have a reservation for a dinner and we had to wait for like one and a half hours just to get a spot there. It's quite popular. I hope it's worth it. Let's see. And also the steam clock was an amazing experience. Although there were a lot of tourists there, but that is one iconic spot that you have to check out when you're in Vancouver, right? We are so casually dressed for this fine dining place. So we were really craving pizza. So we decided on this Italian place called Nightingale. Let's see how this place is. Cheers, babe. To one last, to one last night in Vancouver. Cheers. So we ordered buttermilk fried chicken with the server's recommendation so let's see how it is mm. wow. I know it's weird that I've ordered fried chicken at an Italian place but guys let me tell you this is not just ordinary fried chicken it actually has maple syrup on the top I guess this is too good I'm not kidding if you're coming here and if you eat chicken you have to order this as a snack that you drink Their cocktails are really good, especially I like this one. This is the blackberry infused with gin. Too good. Cheers. Oh, it's sweet. It has honey. Just met these two sweethearts who came all the way to meet me. So oh thank God. you so much. And they're from Vancouver. Students. 
starting here and thank you so much again no thank you yeah. thank, thank you really so much thank, thank you really means a lot, really means a lot. Uh, and i would you. just want to say that pooja just do more of what you're doing uh, and just saran keep love supporting and keep they, doing what you love they made me feel really special tonight i think you guys made my day oh. that's all i can say and you made so our thank day. you for coming you made our day Thank you for enjoying it. Thank, 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 Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. All right. So that's it guys from today's vlog. This is how I spent my last day in Vancouver. So, yeah, the Vancouver series ends here. But there's just one extra video where I want to show you the top 5 spots that you must visit if you're visiting Vancouver for the first time. So, stick around for that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.